Hey guys, so today taking a little break from the Santoku build. I've got uh, some sheaths to make for knife orders that uh, need to go out the door. So yeah, come along with that and uh, we'll make some good leather sheaths for these blades and uh, plug, plug away, move forward, whatever. What am I trying to say? Used to be best buddies. No, no, no. I no. wish you would tell me why. Wish you could tell me why. Okay, all done. Did you get it all done? Yes, I thought it would look good like this. Does this look good? Hello, my name is Charlotte, and I'm making a Kai Kai Wu mini mat, and and I'm going to make a nice blade in a pattern like that. See, it's my handle, and I'm gonna make a sheath, and it's gonna be. Make sure you hold it up. And it's gonna be a points like that all the way down and and I'm going to probably do a wooden handle on this one like my other knife and that daddy helped me and I know that I'm going to sell it and I hope I make some money. Okay so I have all four sheets cut out and I have welts for all four sheaths as well. So the next thing I like to do is go ahead and attach the welt to one side of the respective uh, sheath. Espresso roast. So until rather recently, I hand stitched all of my sheaths. That's a little laborious and time consuming, but doable. Recently, however, um, we were gifted a leather stitching machine, which is amazing. And um, I'm, I've, I'm still learning how to, to efficiently use it. But that definitely cuts down on the time required to put these sheaths together.
Yeah, mm -hmm. just look at that. I mean, we have five layers of seven eight ounce leather right here. Um, and that, that thing is, that stitching machine just goes, stitches right through it. And, and uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the amount of time and labor savings that this represents. Oh, it was all going so well. Um, I don't know what is going on. I'm certainly no expert on the stitching machine, but several places through here, the bobbin thread is breaking and obviously I can't leave it like that where there's the top stitch, the top thread is unattached for two or three holes, that's not gonna work. So I took these stitchings completely out and tried to restitch it, but getting it to go back in the same hole is um, not working very well. I don't know if it's the, the unevenness of these different thicknesses. Um, I don't know if this, th I, I don't think this thread is ter is waxed really. Um, it's, it's nylon, you know, it's strong stuff. Hopefully, I can get this to work. I mean, it's not the machine. I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, that turned out awesome. So obviously I still have a lot to learn when it comes to how to properly set up a, a sheath um, to stitch on the machine, but that's much better. So I got all the sheaths stitched together finally, and the next step is to shape, clean up and shape the edges on each sheath using the belt grinder. So I got my uh, mask here so I don't breathe any dead cow skin. Alright guys, there you have it. We have four quality, sturdy, heavy duty leather sheaths for these blades. And uh, the only thing left to do on them now is to put on a good coat of leather oil. Um, Obanoffs is what I like to use. And uh, yeah, we have the two um, little scouts. Got the horizontal sheath and the vertical sheath. And the uh, mini muck with the uh, vertical sheath and double stitching and then the uh, the outdoors tool cleaver with the uh, double stitching and, and uh, horizontal carry and of course the uh, snap um, securing method there with the strap so it won't come out. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks for coming along on this knife sheath building adventure today. Stay tuned, the Santoku build will resume shortly. And in the meantime, I just wanted to say thanks for the support of the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, that'd be awesome. And uh, you can click that notifications button, that'd be great too. My plan is to continue bringing you content on a regular basis and uh, build it up to where it's more of what we do here at Fire Creek Forge. So thanks for the support, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Mm, yeah, it's going to be a problem. <laughs>